Today I'm going to be building a beach house in Bloxburg using the new update items. And this video idea was inspired by Phoebe, so if you want your video ideas featured in a video, all you have to do is comment them below. So let's get started. So far I have the layout all done, and heaps of you guys are asking me for my layout. So here is the first floor and here is the second floor if you want to copy it. Okay, the first thing I want to do is do some landscaping. And obviously because this is a summer beach house, we're going to have lots of sand, like lots of sand, just random scattered sand like this. Boom, bam, bam, bam. Also, so many of you guys were like, Alaska, show me your landscaping technique. Guys, this is literally it. Just spam my mouse like that. Okay, so this section out here is going to obviously be the sand. What's like a nice sand texture? <gasps> yellow sand in australia there's this beach called himes beach and it has really white sand like when you go there it's blinding i think that's a nice color so we have the sand out here and then the rest of this plot is going to be a pool but if i made this entire plot one big pool you know what you want to know how much that cost me let's say i wanted a deep pool like all around here honey that would cost four hundred and twenty two thousand dollars which i am not spending <gasps> oh my god i nearly had a heart attack <laughs> okay instead of spending that much money on a pool we're literally just going to use flooring and then use the pool texture the only annoying thing here is i have to go in every single crevice and make sure the floors aren't overlapping and okay, now we can change this to water and then using the new update items we have seashells so we can place like seashells by the beach sally sells seashells by the seashore i can never say that Sally sells Sally show Sally sells Sally shows oh my gosh Sally sells seashells by the seashore I don't know why I struggle to say that so much we're also gonna have some lounge chairs out here in case we want to have a little bit of a sunbathe and then like a lifeguard tower because ain't nobody drowning at my Alaska violet beach oh my gosh this is actually my first time seeing all these new items coconut palm tree oh we're definitely gonna have them at the front we're gonna have it all throughout the driveway so when you drive in it's just like palm tree bliss oh they even have a beach buggy oh stop that is adorable they have a stereo that is amazing probably doesn't even work oh wow they have folding beach chairs as well that's awesome and maybe more of these coconut palm trees oh i feel like i'm building the white lotus over here a pair of flip-flops you know what i just realized americans call them flip-flops they're not called flip-flops in australia they're called fongs oh and we can't forget our spf and then finally we can have some umbrellas out here you guys want to know something funny i'm actually terrified of these umbrellas my friend owns a pool and she was telling me to put the umbrella down because we left it up and it was raining and i tried to close it i'm not kidding i was standing right here and it just slammed shut on me i was literally kidnapped by an umbrella okay i think the beach is looking good another thing i do to make my floors look more realistic is i put these dirt piles kind of on the road it looks like the sand is kind of like blowing onto the driveway and i usually put these where there's like sharp edges on the road so it looks more realistic i also never do this but this mailbox and trash bin is disgusting so we're gonna change it out with the old in with the new my avatars even looking like them that is a good looking bin okay, i think the beach is done so now we can finally start working on this beach home okay so i noticed a lot of the time in beach homes they have like a staircase going up to the second floor so we can just put these like altitude stairs right here and excuse me this palm tree is like in my face and for the wall color i think down the bottom we're going to do vertical planks and then on the second floor we can do like blue horizontal planks because you don't want this house looking all the same do you can we talk about how amazing the summer update is like the observatory you can literally go to the moon like if you told me a year ago that you could go to the moon in Bloxburg I would not have believed you the only thing that confused me though is that it's literally the middle of winter in Australia right now so when the update came out and I was like surprise it's summer I'm like sorry oh my god this exterior is looking so cute I usually hate my exteriors until like halfway through but not today I'm actually so excited for this house there's two things I'm excited for right now number one it's my birthday which is on the 3rd of July and second it's this beach house. I can't believe I've never built a beach house in Bloxburg before. I think it's because I live like five minutes from the beach and I'm just sick of seeing it. Okay, we can't forget the rail here. Oh, and the rails on the stairs as well. Okay, now finally the windows. I think we're just gonna use traditional windows because whenever I think of a beach styled home in Bloxburg, I always think of the traditional windows. Also, this room right here is going to be a massive sunroom. So I want windows surrounding this entire room. Usually the back of my builds look so ugly, but the back of this house is actually looking so cute. This is so random, but like, let me know in the comments what's like your dream home i feel like my dream home definitely like a farmhouse that's like backed up into the mountains in my renovating my subscribers house in Bloxburg, so many of you guys have been asking me for a beach house like so many of you guys okay so we've got the windows and the doors all done so now we can finally start decorating okay so with this beach house there's two ways you can enter there's the downstairs way that leads straight into the living room and then there's the upstairs way that leads straight into the bedroom so i think we'll start working on the downstairs area first and then make our way up so obviously this 
this section is going to be the living room. And as it's a beachy home, we're going to stick with like the beachy palette. So lots of pastel blues, whites, any pastel color really. And lots of plants. We need to make sure there's heaps of greenery in here. I'm thinking the TV and fireplace can go along this wall. So then we can have a nice view of the lifeguard station. Should we even add a fireplace in here? It's like a beachy home. I don't think anyone's going to be cold, but you never know. And I thought of something so cute on top of this fireplace, we can have seashells. Like look how cute that is, which means the couch is going to go over here. So we can either use this corner lounge or we can make our own. But you guessed it. I'm going to make my own. Using the wicker lounges because I love them. They love me. Me and this wicker lounge, we go far back, you know? We have a lot of history together, okay? What am I even saying? Okay, so I'm thinking white lounge with blue pillows and blankets. I don't know if you guys can pick up on the audio, but my dog will not shut up. He's going through that naughty puppy stage. So if you have any tips and tricks on how to make my puppy stop barking, please comment them. Okay, with the pillows, we can have like different textures. Ew, that is a grass textured pillow. I want big luscious pillows and we need to make them nice and puffy. Ready? Boom. Okay, that lounge is looking so cute. And for the coffee table, I think we're going to use cubes. The day I don't use basic shapes for my coffee table is the day you all should be scared. Okay, and we can have some designer bookies. Did I just say bookies? Y'all, someone take my YouTube channel away from me, please. I'm never saying bookies again in my life. Also, this is so random, but we're nearly on like 20k Discord members. So if you want to join, link is in the description. This coffee table is everything. Like we need a rocking chair in here. I love my rocking chairs. I just thought of something so cute. By the window, we can have like a painting stand in case someone wants to paint the beach. And then like beneath this painting stand, we can have some paint buckets and like a little seat here. Oh, stop it. That is so cute. Okay, and we can have some more beach colored books. Lots of plants, okay? Lots and lots of plants. I was going through my comments the other day. Someone was like, if you don't add plants in your videos, I'm literally going to unsubscribe from you. I'm like, damn, okay. I think her name was like Charlotte or something. So Charlotte, if you're watching this video, I'm adding plants just so you can stay watching my videos, okay? Okay, the living room's nearly done. The last thing I want to do is just add more paintings in here because right now the walls are like super empty. Okay, so the living room's done. So now we can start working on the kitchen, which is back here. But before we add the kitchen, we need to add stairs because right now we do not have stairs. I'm thinking maybe these modern new stairs. Okay, now to get started on this kitchen. I think the last time I done a beach themed kitchen was like when I renovated your guys' house. Now I'm actually going to get rid of this window and instead we're going to have like a sunset window like this. Okay, so we're just going to use shaker counters because they are literally my go-to always. And for the texture, we're going to use vertical planks again because I love vertical planks. I'm actually so happy Bloxberg added vertical planks to the game because I use them all the time. Another thing I love doing in my kitchens is adding a coffee station. Like literally all I do is just put these round jars on top of like a shelf and then I just put my coffee mug up here and literally that is it. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh my, the fridge. Hello. I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, the most important item in the kitchen, you idiot. Okay, we'll put the fridge right there. Okay, and I think that's the base of the kitchen done. Now we just need the island table. Okay, and then finally, some good old stools. And I always usually just put lemon bowls on my island benches. I don't know why, it just makes it look better. Okay, and we've got the kitchen all complete. Also, I know this is like super expensive, but I feel like the stairway can be custom made wallpaper. And the stairway also needs like a nice fancy chandelier. I love me chandeliers. We love them. Okay, now we can move on to the next room, which is back here. And this is going to be the bathroom. Also, I feel like we haven't used much blue in here, so maybe we can use blue tiles. And I feel like we should cut these two walls up so we can put the shower back here, and then the toilet and sink can go over here. Or maybe instead of one inset, we can have two. Then on the second inset, we can have a hanging plant. Guys, my mum is so sweet. She just came into my room and she gave me like a massive plate of just snacks. <laughs> like, she is so cute. Like, what did I do to deserve a mum like that? Also, side note, why is this bathroom turning out like the nicest bathroom I've ever done in my life? Sorry for a little bit of ASMR, but uh, Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. That was so loud. I actually have a really bad pet peeve when um, people chew loud foods in front of me. And now I'm over here chewing loud food in front of you. Oh, <gasps> what is this? They have a life preserver mirror. Oh, we're so adding that. I think it's too small to be our main mirror, but we might add it over here. And then the toilet can go over in this corner. I never use this toiletry bag. I feel like we should use it. There's so many things in Bloxburg that like I never use and like I need to start using them. Also to make this bathroom stand out more, we're going to add neon horizontal lights on the bottom and the top just to make it more more bright, more in your face. Okay, and that is the bathroom all complete. So now we can move on over here. So I think this is the office. So for the office, I think we might use vertical planks. I'm also just gonna copy these bookshelves from the front of the house. So we can have like this floor lamp in the corner. I actually ordered a floor lamp identical to this from Ikea like a couple days ago. So it should be here any day now. Okay, there's gonna be like two sections to this office. The first section is obviously over here, which is done. And then we have over here where I'm actually gonna have my desk. For the office, I usually just use this 
transitional desk. But today I'm gonna use this fancy desk and put it in the corner. Okay, so we're gonna keep the desk like really simple. Cause one thing I don't like in Bloxburg is having something too crowded. So I'm gonna keep everything relatively minimalistic. And then for my chair, I can have a nice fancy office chair. Am I gonna spend $1,400 on an armchair? Uh, no. You were expecting me to say yes, huh? Instead, we're just gonna use this cute little deck chair. <gasps> I don't like the fact that you can't see the chair. So I might just put this laptop like on the corner. See, that looks so much better compared to when it was just in the middle. And there we go. We have our office all complete. And now we can start moving on to the upstairs area. Okay, the first room we have upstairs is kind of the second living room, which is really cute. So we can just have like a few lounges in here and like a TV. Okay, because the windows are fully up against this wall, we might put the TV on here. So I feel like this wall would look better if it was a feature wall. So we might copy these full wall paintings and then just put them up against here. And then like a TV stand underneath here. I never use use TV stands like ever but I feel like this rustic TV stand would look really cute and more seashells because if you didn't know by now we're actually doing a beach house yeah I know crazy like who would have thought not me oh you can even change the color of the shells that is so cute we also need like a nice long rug in here so we're just gonna copy the one from downstairs I feel like people with an upstairs living room they never use it like if I had an upstairs living room I would always be in it so if you have an upstairs living room go use it right now or else I'm kidding I'm not kidding okay now for the chairs i hate when nothing loads i'm just sitting here like I don't usually use this pre-built corner lounge, but today I'm going to. And we're gonna make the lounge blue because I feel like we need more blue in here. And you know what guys, instead of using a cube for my coffee table, I'm just gonna use a pre-built coffee table. I know, what has the world come to? Okay, and I think the upstairs living room is done. Yo, I don't know why this staircase is so bright. It's actually kind of scaring me. I feel like every grand staircase needs two massive paintings. So like one there and then one there. So the next room I wanna work on is my master bedroom. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's like very long but not that wide hopefully it won't look bad and if it looks bad then i'll cry the reason i have a wall here like blocking this section is because this is going to be a closet but not like an ugly closet like a nice fancy closet for example we can have like a nice wardrobe rack in this corner the big fancy chandelier in here because nothing screams fancy closet like a chandelier and instead of curtains we're actually going to use shutters and finally to finish it off we can have a fancy vanity table we have just like a bunch of makeup products on here also this is so random but we're about to hit 10k on our second channel where I post non Bloxburg related things. So if you're interested, go subscribe. I actually haven't posted in there in ages, but I'm going to start posting soon because my new computer will be arriving very soon. Okay, and there we go. We've got our little closet. So now we can actually start working on my bed. So I want like three large paintings here. You know what? I was going to put my bed up along this wall, but I'm thinking this wall would look better. And we're actually going to use this industrial double pipe bed because I have literally never, ever, ever, ever used it before. Now the fun bit, which is adding the pillows. Yay. Wait, what if I just put a blanket over the pillows so I don't have to struggle? Oh my gosh, I don't know why I added so many pillows. <laughs> Y'all, I think I just got carried away. Okay, bed's actually looking so cute. We just need some end tables. Or oh, we can also have like a nice salt lamp. Maybe some seashells as well. A little alarm clock to wake us up in the morning. The alarm clock sound on my phone actually terrifies me. I'm genuinely scared of it. I hear it and I'm like, <gasps> jump scare. Like last night, for example, my phone went off, like the alarm. And I have never jumped so fast in my life. I was going to put a TV in here but it's like a summer vacation home so why would you want to be watching tv when you can be out on the beach we also need some mats in here just in case people get sand when they're walking in my room okay the master bedroom's done now we have to do the sunroom this is actually pretty cool i've never done a sunroom before so i think this is going to turn out really nice but i'm not like gonna over complicate it i'm gonna keep it like relatively similar to the downstairs living room for example we can have like a rocking chair in the corner like a few of these wicker armchairs oh and over in this corner we can have a painting stand like we did downstairs and it makes more sense that it's in here because there's like bigger windows. Okay, and I think that's it for the green room. <laughs> Did I just say green room? I meant sun room. And now we've got the second bedroom, which is over here. Okay, I have a feeling this bedroom's actually gonna turn out really nice. And I think instead of making it one bedroom, we're actually gonna put two beds in here. Like the Bloxburg moms are shaking because I'm coming for them. You know, I'm also gonna give them their own canopy because who doesn't love canopies? <laughs> Wait, I just thought of something cute. What if instead of a bedside table, we'd have an oak shelf and make it long enough so it reaches both of the beds? Like, is that genius? 
genius or is that genius? Okay, that section is done. Now we have the opposite end. Oh, we're also missing a wardrobe. I don't know why I always forget to add a wardrobe. Or maybe some wall vines as well. It's kind of beachy. Or maybe a sun, a little joyous sun. No, that's ugly. And then along this wall, we can have another vanity table. Oh, this industrial desk is cute. And you know what? Instead of laptops, they get books. And then finally, a little simplicity chair. Okay, so that's bedroom number two all finished. So now we've got the last room, which is the bathroom. And the bathroom is going to be pretty similar to the one downstairs. Nothing too like crazy bananas, you know? The one thing I love about doing a second bathroom is that you can just copy the things downstairs. It literally makes life so much easier. I'm thinking we can have like two sinks up here and then like a nice fancy mirror. You know what guys? I also realized downstairs didn't have a bathtub. So like obviously we need a bathtub up here and I feel like this corner bath would just be perfect. And luckily for us, we still have room to add a shower so we can just put it over here. Not enough space. To okay, calm down. I get it. Okay, we can't place a wall there, which sucks, but instead we're just going to place a transparent cube. So that way we can kind of like place this on the corner. So it kind of looks like a door. And then using thin square beams, all I do is outline it. And then finally some towels. So with the bathroom done, the beach house is finally complete. Okay, the last thing we need in here is of course the beach buggy. Yes, it's $200,000, but we'll see if it's worth it. As for the color, I feel like a pastel buggy would look really cute. Okay, so my summer beach house is all complete and comes to a total of $300,000. $65,000. But minus the buggy, it's only 165k, which honestly isn't that bad. And honestly, considering this is my like second time doing a beach home, I absolutely love the way it turned out. And the whole landscaping as well is just amazing. Like we've got the beach over here. We have a nice relaxing day in the sun. Go for a nice artificial swim, considering this isn't real water, <laughs> but it's fine. And we can also go on this lifeguard thing, which is pretty cool. We can watch out for sharks. Cleo, get out of the water. As for this buggy, I want to see if it's really fast so i don't know if this is fast or not is this fast i don't know it's definitely nice i love the way this buggy looks it's just i don't know if it's really fast oh just crashed. Okay, let's put this buggy away before I end up running someone over. Okay, so there's two ways we can enter the house. We can go down here into the living room or we can come upstairs. I think we're going to start off with the living room. So coming inside, obviously, we've got the beautiful living room. And honestly, I think this is like my favorite build so far. Everything just turned out so pretty. And all these decals as well, just beautiful. And then next to the lounge room, we've got the kitchen. The kitchen's definitely like one of my favorite rooms in this entire house. I think it's got to do with the windows. Like I love how you can look outside in the kitchen kitchen. It just makes it feel nice and bright. And then back here we have the bathroom. So this bathroom was actually pretty spacious considering. And I love how I used the little archway to kind of separate the two showers from the rest of the bathroom. I felt like that was pretty cool, you know? And then the last room downstairs we have the office. This is where I conduct my very important Bloxburg business meetings. I sit right in this chair and I tell everyone to subscribe to my channel. So yeah, this is the office. Okay, now making our way upstairs. The stairway alone is just like so elegant. And as soon as you walk up, you're greeted with this second living room. Obviously this living room is not as big as the others but it's still super nice and I love the view as well. And now coming back here we have my master bedroom. Considering how awkward the measurements were for the master bedroom I really like this but because the room was so long I cut it in half and then added the closet back here which was actually a pretty nice touch. And inside our master bedroom we have the sunroom. I never realized how much I want a sunroom until I built one. Now I'm literally obsessed with them. Like are you kidding me? Look how beautiful this is. I want this in my house. Okay, and over here we've got the upstairs bathroom. It is beauty, it is grace, it is Miss United States. As you can see, I couldn't fit a wall here, so I just put a basic shape and it actually turned out so good. The one thing I did forget to add though is curtains. We do not have much privacy in this bathroom. I can see me all the way over from like Bloxy Burgers. Oh my gosh, you can also see the new observatory. That is so cool. I actually haven't been in there yet, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise for me. And the last room we have upstairs is the second bedroom. Now this bedroom is actually so cute. It's perfect for like two siblings. If you doing like a role play it's so cute so i've got their closet and then we've got their desk over here with again incredible views of the ocean so yeah i'm actually really proud of this build it's definitely something i'm going to keep because i am literally in love with it yo i can't i can't drive this buggy like what okay guys i think i broke the buggy What's wrong with it? Guys, I'm trying to do the outro in the buggy and I literally, I cannot park it for the life of me. Like, what is happening? This buggy is a scam. It just like pushed me underneath the stairs and now I'm stuck. This buggy is literally a danger to society. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed me building a beach house in Bloxburg. And if you use this build, definitely tag me and let me know as I'd love to see your interpretation of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.